today we're gonna go hunting the most dangerous game we're hunting dinosaur The, what's the theme of the hour? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real thinker. It's really wow. It's <laughs> as, a, as a reminder, we will at some point be selling garbage day albums because how can we not? <laughs> it's gonna be rah 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 dinosaurs. That's the that's the theme. Okay. Oh, oh, Albert's in the mood. Hey, Albert. All <laughs> right. He is. He's barded out. <laughs> All right. Perfect. It is the mid nineties. You have Usenet. What is the foremost thought on your mind and what dominates your thoughts all the time? How much you hate Barney! <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, um, and, and, um, and, um, I was going to say clax, but. <laughs> <laughs> it is the 90s and there's time for killing Barney. <laughs> In the room for this hour, we have Lemon. That's me! Frank West. Hi. Jack Chick. Like video games. We have me. I'm John Toast. Hello. We have Nutshell Gulong. All backslash tasteless humor. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're cutting ahead. We have Portex. <laughs> Doom wads with dead Barneys in them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Sanguinary Novel. Oh, hello. I love you. <laughs> and yes, we I have Mox to... on the art. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Making nice faces of <laughs> 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 All right, let me set the stage a little bit here. So here's a rough overview that the um, doc creator, uh, Darkly, thank you for this, uh, created. So here's a rough overview of the uh, history of this. Um, some point after Barney and Friends went on the air, a Usenet news group appeared called alt.barney.dinosaur.die.die.die. <laughs> the people on this news group invented a crusade to destroy Barney found I mean, that, is a, that is a domain innovator. I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> die, 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 die. It's very funny. <laughs> so... People started role-playing as characters and forming their own factions in this uh, crusade to destroy Barney. Of course. <laughs> uh, public enemy posted a... Whatever. Uh, let's, they, so in this group, they wrote a lot of fan fiction. Most of it had very little to do with Barney and more to do with their crusade characters. Of course. Eventually, right. they turned this concept into a role-playing game. A lot of content produced in this is archived on their website. Okay. They, they, oh, this is a role-playing game? This is the inevitable conclusion of oh. this kind of thing. All right, all right. This is not. I'm going to make episode. my character Barney. That has already surprised me. Fuck you. No, I picked Barney first. You can't do that. <laughs> I'll be BJ. That's against the rules. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start us off as well with the part one of the Crusade to Destroy Barney. For those who came in late, the Earth is under attack. The Demon Lord Baharna. <laughs> the Deek Lord. I love you. You love me. Oh, good. <laughs> Servant of the malevolent alien high magus of Lyra. And that's a reference to Lions, which was a corporate owner of the Barney IP, apparently. Uh, what? Uh, wow. Okay. Has commenced his assault on the human race. Under the benevolent guise of the children's television host, Barney the Dinosaur, Baharna seeks to destroy the minds of children and adults and bind them to his tyrannical will. Once he has made mindless slaves of humanity, Baharna will rule the earth with an iron talon. It's like an episode of Invader Zim, but like <laughs> sincere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> there are those who oppose Baharna, 
drawn together by mysterious forces, mad scientists and sorcerers, warriors, scholars, and surrealists have banded together into a fighting force capable of standing against Baharna's power and the power of his masters. With the mystic blade of the Barney Slayer leading the way, these warriors fight a never-ending battle against the forces of evil and stupidity. They are hmm. the crusade to destroy Barney the Purple Dinosaur. Oh, I thought we were killing Stupidity. Baharna. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Uh, Portex, could you walk us through the Crusade FAQ? Okie dokie. Wow, there's a lot of them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what is this Crusade? Uh, the Crusade is a heterogeneous or organization of people on the internet dedicated to defamation, humiliation, eradication, killing, and removing of Barney the Purple Dinosaur of the television show Barney and Friends from the airwaves and from every human's life. Good. And just... Okay. <laughs> You're gonna go house to house just like... <laughs> like no. no. He's a turtle, I guess, a in this universe. <laughs> when the Eternal Crusade Sunshine keeps Barney killing line. Barney... <laughs> We refer to the idea of killing Barney the purple dinosaur, not the persons in that bloated, disgusting purple suit. I'm, I'm, I'm just really surprised that they actually made that distinction. That's yeah, that's, that's, that's way more forward thinking than I expected. Yeah, this is yeah, this kill is the internet where it's like, oh, the no, the person in the suit is not the character. <laughs> Fictional characters aren't real. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be careful with that these days. Before the internet <laughs> discovered We've that, we've taken this step backwards on that. It seems. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the crusade categorically does not support real life violence against people wearing suits of Barney, suits of Barney, <laughs> or those <laughs> hoping to propagate the purple mind suckers show. <laughs> How old are the people writing this? Whatever uh, the oh. crusade. <laughs> Primarily inhabits the news group alt dot barney dot dinosaur dot die dot die dot die a b four d. I like it. I like it. But also resides in the news groups alt tv barney. <laughs> so good. Um, mm -hmm. uh, naturally, there are over a hundred and fifty people from five continents. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh -uh. All right. There's a threefold truth. Barney is the symbolic <laughs> incarnation of all hell on Earth. Of course. Uh, number two is Barney seeks to make the world his purple kingdom and does so by corrupting the innocent and weak into sponge minions. Oh, that's oh, we'll, get to, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> it really is a doom mod. Uh, <laughs> Ripping <laughs> hair. The third <laughs> Barney Done. must be destroyed. All else is re irrelevant. Okay, so why do we need the see. other two truths then? <laughs> um, we just need the one truth. <laughs> so there's some Ten Commandments here, which just kind of is just, uh, yeah, we can, can I, skip that. Uh, but uh, I, but I have a, I, I, one more thing before we move on. Uh, hmm. Portex, I have a very important question about all this lore about the uh -huh. Crusade to kill Barney. Uh -huh. What about the Power Rangers? Oh, I'm so what glad about the asked, Power Rangers? I'm so glad you asked that question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got a megazord. Oh, that <laughs> and that's and, five uh, dinosaurs glued together. You can't fight that. The oh, uh, Power Rangers, <laughs> also known as the Super Sentai, uh, it is safe to say. Got a sale on apostrophes here. <laughs> our oh, yeah, how do you love crafterize Japanese? Oh, well, are fairly well despised throughout the crusade and by those who serve the cause. T trademark. Uh, <laughs> some of us consider them to be allies of the Lavender Lard Lord. <laughs> oh, yeah, like yeah, a lavender yeah, color, yeah. that's fine. Okay. Uh, and others think they just plain suck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, however, strictly speaking, the Pahahunters <laughs> <laughs> are immaterial to the cause. I really feel like they're See, here. Man, he could kick your ass any day of the week. What are you like, about their immaterial? Like, I feel like if they had allied with Zordon, they would have been able to, to rid the world of Barney so much easier. Yeah, that's the like Power Rangers <laughs> fight giant, like weird people in suits right so like all you had to do was put them on a sound stage with teeny tiny buildings and they would have kicked barney's ass in like five minutes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 
Portax, I'm sorry. Uh, they're not going to allow you uh, past the gate because you couldn't pronounce Power Rangers. So I feel like we've talked a lot about Baharna or Bahar, whatever they're trying to say. But mm. I don't think we've actually heard some real in-depth details about this menace. So, Lemon. Yeah. Could you tell me about Barney? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? You want me to control F Barney? What are you <laughs> yeah, this is your this is your test. Um, uh, no, it's under it's under section two. Time. Okay, okay, it's under section two. Barney and friend, Barney oh, okay. and Fiends, the bad yeah, guys. Got it. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Barney, you're, you're welcome. I mean, you can oh, also control me, Barney or Baharney yeah. or. Barney. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Barney or Baharney or Baharney or half a dozen other spellings along the same lines, somewhat unsurprisingly, is the crusade to destroy Barney, the purple dinosaur's primary adversary. There are various magical, philosophical, and religious theories within the crusade about which, fuck, Barney really is. <laughs> Jesus, that <laughs> sentence sucks. Yeah, that's how sentence. Some people say that he's a particularly powerful demon. Some call him a minion of Satan or a similar religious figure. And Sweet. some say he's a manifestation of evil itself. But his exact nature remains unknown beyond those various theories. That is because he has been slightly different every time he has appeared to face the crusade. If he... If once he if once he is vanquished with a sword, the <laughs> next really time powerful read. magic may be required to defeat him, or something completely unanticipated. And he's like Dracula in Castlevania. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is, he's what twice the man in his purple head. <laughs> yeah, if you kill him without collecting the proper three souls from killing Baby Bop for like six times, then you don't get the real ending. <laughs> you don't get the it was not by my hand that I was. <laughs> not by my hand that I was once again given flesh. <laughs> it was by children who wished to pay me tribute. <laughs> it is a dinosaur, a miserable pile of foam. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, most prominent and most used among Barney's abilities are mesmeration or spungification, as the crusade calls it. Barney's ability to mesmerize and stupefy humans is very strong, though through direct contact or intermediaries such as tele toys and television. His power <laughs> is strong enough that a completely mesmerized or spungified human, the sponge man. <laughs> That's I'm spells. ready. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking spun like spun monkeys. Like, we like the moon. <laughs> uh, oh, well, this is the 90s. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we got the Quizness Yeah, control. that is uh, appropriately yeah. old school. <laughs> we hate money. <laughs> 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 uh, a sponge minion will not only fight for Barney, but will sometimes forget whatever personality he or she might have had before. How uh -huh. he does this is not understood. You're welcome. <laughs> it is some combination of tone, voice, movement, and what he says, though there's also likely some intangible and possibly magical that helps him sway the will of human beings. A magic is part of his being rather than a force he draws from around him. Barney is also quite adept at using many forms of magic with spells that spungify among them. And though he is quite likely physically strong, he prefers <laughs> looks it. sponge <laughs> minions or other servants or allies in direct physical confrontations. You know, I see Barney. Sure. Like, That's a cut guy. That's what I think. <laughs> servants <laughs> ripped. Like, we, I'm noticing here that they're they're clearly trying to avoid saying children. <laughs> like, well, like these are sponge by humans. They're not not children. They're no. humans. <laughs> they're they're not not children. Children. they were humans until they were affected by the Barney. <laughs> kids, <laughs> kids like stupid shit like Barney. They don't like cool things like our fucking D and D campaign we're writing about <laughs> killing Barney. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm sorry, but that's not your son anymore. <laughs> He's been spongified. Uh, uh, we we mentioned a uh, well. We meant we mentioned you did mention um, sponge minions or other servants or allies. Other yeah. servants or allies. Hmm. You know, I want to hear more about that. Frank West, could you tell me about Hellspawn, BJ, and Baby Bop? I Fuck. could. Jesus Christ. Uh, I think you have mean... to go into the extended universe now. <laughs> yes. Yes. Strap in. What We're going to be here for a while. <laughs> this is canon. These are the B list villains. <laughs> I think you mean. Filler episode. I, 
I think you mean P J and Oh, you're right. Thank you for correcting me. Frank, Frank, do you need an inhaler? I mean, the I mean, guys who wrote yeah. this are definitely. As they are alternatively known, our Barney's chief lieutenants, subordinate manifestations of the same adversarial force from which Barney draws his corporeal form and power, their what? existence and power are an extension of his will. D- Damn, this show sounds like it kicks ass. Oops, the wrong Barney. <laughs> it really makes me want to watch Barney. You yeah, so steal puppet souls and make them your slave. Oh no. <laughs> Become sponge. <laughs> Their functions are many. <laughs> they have skills in magic and mesmerization similar to Barney's, but of lesser strength. They have been known to oversee important operations or lead troops for Barney, both individually and together, working right, in conjunction. Let's talk vampires. <laughs> <laughs> Way ahead of you. <laughs> and, and working in conjunction, they can greatly magnify Barney's ability to mesmerize and spongify a large group of people. I just want to point out that right now I think that Mox is drawing Barney as Brooke Shields. Oh, no, no, it's uh, Dracula. <laughs> I think it's oh, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. I, was, yeah. I was confused why I was so aroused by Barney right there. I, I, I often get Brooke Shields and Dracula confused, too. <laughs> they have similar hair and clothing <laughs> styles and the ability to turn into a bat. <laughs> this voice, this little mouse. Bat shields. <laughs> they can scoot backwards really fast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because their entire existence is subject to Barney's will, neither BJ nor Baby Bop can truly be destroyed until Barney himself is. They can, be, <laughs> they can be struck down and have many times with conventional or magical weapons, which I guess we have. <laughs> <laughs> but will eventually return if Barney still exists. When Barney is finally and completely destroyed, BJ and Baby Bop will either disappear along with the power that sustains them, or, more likely, their power will be greatly diminished and they will be easily defeated. Oh, uh-huh. so it's like a Lost Boys scenario. You have mm-hmm. to kill the main plushie. <laughs> and uh, then it talks about uh, sponge minions, but it's basically like, oh, the kids are... Barney's turning the kids' heads into sponge. That's why we call them sponge minions. Although there yeah, is one clever. sentence I wanted to point out I like. Um, there are many methods of despongification, as the crusade calls it, the vast majority of which involve completely isolating a sponge from Barney's influence, then inundating it with sensation that run contrary to Barney's teachings. Jolt cola, junk food, and loud music <laughs> uh-huh. are very prevalent among the various despongification methods. Oh, yeah. Too early for surgery. No. <laughs> Georgie, I'm never letting you babysit your cousin again. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting the evil mom, God! I had to lock him in a closet with Jolt Cola and Cheetos. <laughs> put him in, a, put him in an isolation tank. <laughs> no. You're eating too healthy. I don't like some <laughs> ram in there. But, but okay, we've set the Probably stage. We set, things. we've set Sorry. the world. Th- thank you for everybody for coming to my campaign. By the way, I spent a lot of time on this. As, you know, yeah, we can tell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. you know. A lot you of me back the keys to my some house, point, or do we just need more lore? Hey, so, <laughs> you know, maybe well, you know, when do we roll through board, characters? You know. We've been here for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, the time is finally here because now we get need to get into the actual story, and we need to talk about the dawn of Barney. <laughs> I just want to say yeah. that Max did the best of any possible uh, uh, catchphrases for for <laughs> Barney Dracula. <laughs> How many humans have you spongified in your life? <laughs> I really, really love it's... Barney Dracula. It's, it's good, yes. All right, Sanguinary. Yes. Can you please regale us with the story of the dawn of Barney? The dawning of the age of Barnarius. <laughs> good. You're welcome. Good one. <laughs> Sheila Cress was 13 years old. She had two sisters and three brothers. She was the eldest of the six children. All the rest were around two to nine years old. She took care of them when their mom and dad were away. Her five siblings' favorite channel was PBS. They watched Sesame Street, Mr. Rogers. However, on that fateful day in 1993, there was one show that changed everything. What it was, a was it? Wo- 
Was it Power Rangers? Is <laughs> <laughs> it Sailor Moon? Was it Fist of the North Star? <laughs> On PBS? That would change a life. <laughs> <laughs> It was a warm summer night. Sheila's mom and dad had to go to a work conference. <laughs> so Sheila was left in charge of the babysitting her siblings. She made some popcorn, poured Coca-Cola into a cup, and plopped down on the red leather couch and put an old screwball comedy in the VCR. Oh, wow, I'm a 13-year-old in the... I'm a 13 year old in the mid 90s. I really love it. it's a mad, 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 mad world. <laughs> one of the three Stooges, actually. Yeah. I, I did when I was that age. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Five yeah, only 90s kids will remember. <laughs> <laughs> only 90s kids will remember Betty Bootcart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Five minutes into the movie, a voice rang out Sheila, Sheila. Sheila <laughs> swiveled around and Good. saw Lacey. Her four-year-old sister run down the stairs. What is it, Lacey? Sheila asked. Put on Barney, Lacey replied, excited. Sheila sighed and turned off her movie. She grabbed the remote and switched the channel to PBS. A patriotic marching tune started playing as the purple dinosaur walked in on screen. Lacey watched in awe as the children chanted, Barney is a dinosaur from our imagination, and when he's tall, what we call a dinosaur sensation. That's what she, they all said. They all said that, like in it's chorus. It's the lyrics to the show that, which yeah, is also the, a chant, I guess. It's the theme. oh yeah, it's, sorry, it's, it's, it's the opening theme song. Okay, okay. I, I'm sorry, I didn't say it enough. Apparently, I just learned that that's burned into my brain because I can hear that right now. Oh, and, I can. Yeah, also. So, all right. The I can hear the Animaniacs. Baby said any kid for like more than a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila watched the screen in horror as a green dinosaur and a yellow dinosaur walked on the screen. And then their eyes were bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> it was totally. realistic blood. <laughs> Creepy pasta. All right, cool. <laughs> Soon the four other siblings raced down the stairs to watch. Bye. The kids screamed in joy. They jumped on the couch with ecstatic grins. Sheila had enough and went upstairs. Even the nine-year-old? I kind of doubt it. <laughs> the kids liked a show that was annoying. It was horrifying! <laughs> <laughs> this is literally the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Surely this is all the only children's show that has ever been annoying in the history of television broadcast. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me it's introduce the... you to Bubble Guppies, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> of the intensity action sequences of Caillou, though. <laughs> oh, I hate Caillou so goddamn much. Why would you hate um, that show? Though? It's so intense. <laughs> Slap you and your dad. Uh oh. <laughs> never can a Caillou. <laughs> <laughs> 20 minutes later, the phone rang. Sheila picked it up. It was her dad. Hi, Sheila. Go check and see how the kids are doing. <laughs> Sheila hung up the phone and went downstairs. Upon her arrival, she saw an unforgettable sight. The kids were zoning out like zombies in front of the TV. Barney was on screen, and he was talking to the viewers. Huh, remember, kids, you should hate your family. What? Always listen to me. If you do, you'll get a surprise. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Barney. The producers on this set just looking at each other and shrugging. Like. <laughs> <laughs> the, the guy in the suit was going through a divorce at the time. We're just getting... <laughs> <laughs> the kids responded. Barney began to sing, <laughs> I love you. You love me. I love you. <laughs> you oh, yeah. love me. Oh, damn, your person's really good. We're a happy <laughs> family. Sheila screamed in terror and ran upstairs. She yeah. thought to herself, I can't believe it. My brothers and sisters are brainwashed into killing me. My mom, my dad, by that stupid Barney show. She decided to make some more popcorn and watch Oprah for a while. Wow. <laughs> oh, Nine-year-olds. Excellent. You get a Barney <laughs> RPG, and you get a Barney RPG. She was a fucking coward. Then she remembered about the kids. <laughs> Sheila made her way back downstairs. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm babysitting. <laughs> oh yeah, the murder. Like eating all day. I'm gonna get in Holy shit! Drink. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna get the the first thing that she saw was the credits for Barney rolling. The second thing was that her nine year old brother. Really, I'm not using that name. 
Guy had a gun! Her five-year-old brother Carl had a chainsaw! <laughs> Sheila gasped and ran to call 911, but a three-year-old sister, Hannah, chased her with a kitchen knife all the way to the living room. <laughs> Sheila locked herself in, in a closet and started to cry, Why, Pete? <laughs> she sobbed to herself. Lacey opened the door with a cleaver in her hands. Barney said to kill your family, Lacey said. Sheila yelled in shock and ran outside. Bruce and Lily, her six and seven year old brother and sister, followed her, carrying a revolver and spork. <laughs> Sheila screeched and bolted for There's the a road. crazy 90s oh, humor, I to remember. Her. To uh, her horror, her kids have become the penguins of doom. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they had like a like a pot of weapons, and like it was like here's the gun, chainsaw, <laughs> knife in the weapon closet to watch Barney. That was probably you a get the cleaver. I got to grab everything I can. Like, what about me? What do I get? Uh, jeez. Hmm, um, well, I got the spork. You can have the spork. <laughs> All right, Sheila screeched a bull. Funny. <laughs> oh, they are funny. Yeah, that is no, you, they are funny. Hey, you just you just saying that put a smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, just to finish it up, Sheila screeched and bolted towards the road, but not before Bruce shot her. She blacked out Jeez. on the pavement. <laughs> keep going. There's a this lot more. This is like every Unity made <laughs> horror <laughs> indie game that someone tries to put on YouTube that people scream at. It's really not <laughs> wrong. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's it, that's it, that's it, flip. Yeah, but like, but like, but this would really, really, really scare Mark Plyer. Like, he would be <laughs> terrified. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, he would have his good screaming voice on. He sure would. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm making a oh, face. Oh, 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 oh. scared me. You guys are gonna scream about it for 20 minutes. Ah. Oh, it's Barney. Well, that's nice. Wait, what is he doing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 12 years old, Mike thinks this is a genuine reaction. Good work, Mark. <laughs> I think you mean Mark. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are watching YouTube. It's gotten worse. <laughs> uh, um, well, okay, so the so there is a section that, yeah, the rest of it is just Sheila hunts down Barney, Sheila kills Barney, and Barney's like mittened hand i guess comes up from the wreckage of pbs i think oh, they will the return <laughs> there is the line that says that's it sheila screamed barney you're going down she stabbed barney with the spear so that's oh, uh, that's pretty good <laughs> but let's move on I the next two sentences after that <laughs> what is this? let's see Suddenly, the entire place burst into flames. Sheila led the kids out, and Barney exploded. Oh yeah, that's, that's good too. <laughs> Glad I didn't pass that over. Explode. But let's move on. <laughs> let's talk about. Um, well, you know, it's obligatory with uh, our readings and our documents, so we have to go to Harry Potter and the Crusade against Barney. Yay! Yeah. Oh, Jack, you, Jack you, if you could please. <laughs> Damn it! Absolutely, but I'm going to need somebody to do and somebody to do Dumbledore. Somebody do who in Dumbledore? Uh, Snape. Fred. Oh, I, I want Snape. I want Snape. Oh, yes. <laughs> me, Snape. That is what Perfect I Perfect impression. <laughs> Are you Kermit? I have an excellent Snape, as I'm oh, sure you can so tell. Oh, you Snape. That's perfect. I'm surprised it was me, Frank. I know you were all confused. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Shit, Alan Rickman came back from the dead. <laughs> I, know, I know you all thought that was just a really good sound clip of Alan Rickman, but it was me, Frank West. <laughs> Deep, darkest dungeons underneath Hogwarts, there was a momentary flash of lightning, and Barney the dinosaur appeared. The end. Yes, by the loose tongue of some fool who spoke my name. That's I gained star? just enough power <laughs> to finally return to this world. A world I shall now rule forever. This time no one will stop me, least of all the crusade. Oh, <laughs> yup. Banjo? <laughs> another flash of lightning, and Voldemort, played by Lemon, appeared. Yes! By the loose tongue of some fool who yes. spoke my name! I gained just enough power to finally return to this world. A world that I shall now rule forever! This time, no one will stop me. Least of all, Harry Potter, 
The Hannah Barbera adaptation of Harry Potter is much better. Than I, I like it. Well, we got <laughs> Alan Rickman and Ray Fiennes, apparently. Mark was surprised to feel a talon tapping him on the shoulder. He turned around and looked up into a demonic lizarding maw filled with tooth. Hi there. Yuck. Would you like to be my special friend? He's the uh, yeah, I guess. I guess so. Sure. <laughs> Yay. Yay. You like? Uh, do you like racquetball? <laughs> no, my want, arms are too short, asshole. Do you want, do you want to join my frisbee <laughs> golf team? <laughs> the frisbee golf scene in Harry Potter was actually really good. <laughs> Fang and Snape nearly collided into each other as they arrived at Dumbledore's chambers in similar hurries from opposite directions. Yes, what is going on here? Ooh, Snape fun. angrily queried the new teacher who is played by Zarla. <laughs> I'd like wait a minute. I'd like to know too. I need to see Dumbledore. <laughs> Tang pushed past Snape and pushed open the door. A bleary-eyed Dumbledore was slumped back in a chair, mostly bottle, a mostly empty bottle of whiskey perched on his lap. Good. Tangaroa said. You remember that alcohol holds back the effects of the demon's enchantments. Oh, good, good. That's, that's good writing. That's really good writing. <laughs> See, I'm telling you. Hanna-Barbera, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> Tex, you're a Dumbledore. <laughs> So I'm Dumbledore. So mm, yes. Dumbledore <laughs> mumbled. Of course. Mm, what is causing this? Yes, Tangaroa quickly interjected. I know what's causing it. Where is it coming from? Mm, the basement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These evil things always come from the basement. <laughs> True, true. Just then, Harry Hermione <laughs> showed up. What's going on? Harry asked. <laughs> Snape flowered. Frank. Oh, Frank. sorry, is that me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm... Don't you, didn't you forget your role of a lifetime? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I just skipped a line. Look, I haven't been up this early in over a year. This is bad. <laughs> glowered. Okay, <laughs> glowered. That's what you did. Mm, yes, we so. should ask Professor Tangaroa. Inside his coat. You kids had your dessert for the night, or maybe coffee or tea. The three held their stomachs as Ron spoke for them. Believe me, we've had dessert for the <laughs> night. <laughs> and uh, Tangaroo oh. produced a bottle of Jolt brand cola and handed it to Snape. <laughs> a really <laughs> good Sponsored, <laughs> Sponsored by Jolt. <sighs> Here, this will help. Which way to the basement? Stared at the offering for a confused moment before accepting it and starting off for the door. This way. Okay. 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 Let, let's give it a little. So. Hello, oh, man, boys and girls. <laughs> Where is? I know. Well, never Arnie down. Grinned as he surveyed past his potential victims. I love children. <laughs> You're gonna be my new special friends. Harry flowered at the hell worm. We won't be friends with any ally of Voldemort. <laughs> Why is which world watcher playing Harry Potter? <laughs> oh, you're not being happy. We need to turn that frown upside down. Arnie started dancing. Sing along. <laughs> I love you. You love me. I love you. There we go. You love me. <laughs> Is <laughs> <laughs> a loud voice. He's a demon. Uh, uh, this one, uh, why? Yeah, Ron shouted some dumb shit. The fat belly's the fat lizard's belly rumbled a bit as the spell hit him. The du the demon swung at Ron and smiled a toothy grin. No, it's my turn. Barney lunged forward and swung an arm into Ron, throwing him fifteen feet down the hall. Ron. Hermione shouted, then Harry laughed at you when you spell. Alright, let's skip a little ahead a little. Let's see. Um, go down to finally. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Just before you do that, can okay. you please, uh, 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 Toast, can you just read the sentence that starts from the ground? Okay. 
From the ground, Ron picked up his wand and shouted a spell. Dishwalla! Yay! <laughs> oh. Yay! Wait. What decade was this written? I can't tell. Wait, oh. don't count those blue cars. <laughs> I'm going to tell you all my thoughts on God. <laughs> Fuck, now that's actually in my head. Yay! <laughs> I really like to be her! <laughs> actually, the Hermione switched her wand part is also... <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that is good. You you want to take that part next? Go. Uh, oh, Hermione switched her wand in great art since she expertly chanted the long and complex spell, In the God of Davina! Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> And then, um, okay, and then finally Harry raised his wand at the bloated beast. The wind swept up around the young wizard, dramatically tossing his hair as he was shouted the magic words, Metallica! Thank you very much magic words. Boys off a uh, donation of $102, uh, and this will give Albert a break. No trash. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this trash Oh, he got magic... his hands up like he don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're playing the song. Butterflies fly away. <laughs> Shout out the magic words. The magic words, by the way, are Metallica kick your ass. Yeah, okay, whatever. Mm. And, then, uh, mm. and then they do a Rocky bunch of... started running out of ideas partway through JoJo's, I guess. Man, yeah. Arnie, man, what's the bad <laughs> thing that I can think of? Uh, this new stand with the power, uh, the, the, it's called Dishwalla. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going home. <laughs> fucking. Um, all right. So I really like the Tango and Snape show on CBS. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, now we now we should get into some discussions. Uh. Okay. 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 Right. Who has Who hasn't read yet? Oh, I think nutshell. nutshell. I mean, that's sanguinary. Oh, I read a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> I think I read the story. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, we just traded off on who is blacking out. So <laughs> we did. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, right. I was reading ahead. Um... <laughs> hey, um. Nutshell, could you tell us what might happen if Baharni was fed to a dragon? <laughs> oh. Um, oh no. Well, <laughs> yes. Hi, I'm I'm Brett Ryan, and I have a question. <laughs> if uh, if Baharni was fed to a dragon, would he be a crunchy treat or a chewy treat, or would the poor scaled devil just throw up at the thought of ingesting such a sap? I'm asking as a joke. It's a funny joke. Hi, uh, um, yes. uh, I'm Eris Marconi. <laughs> Answering the question. Good question. There doesn't seem to be much there except slime, so he'd be chewy. However, if given the chance, I wouldn't eat him. I'm getting indigestion at the thought. Uh -huh. Frowny tongue face. Well, you're not a dragon, so I don't give a shit. However, <laughs> I could think of some marvelous things to do to him, of course. The weapons uh, would have to be blunted to prolong the pain. Grinning evilly, I am TM WTF. What is it? Trademark? What the fuck? Right. What? <laughs> yeah. Like the back then, people didn't quite understand how this, yeah, this is too early for emoticons. <laughs> or the emojis. Uh, I mean. Hey, my name's Donald Crush. <laughs> I, I guess it depends on what kind of dragon you're talking about. Oh, no, no. Proto Reddit. Yeah, uh, I suppose the fire breathers who just as soon toast his fucking puke purple ass. The ones that. Don't bring me into this. The ones that breath lightning would electrocute that monstrosity. Uh, ice breakers, ice breathers would freeze his ass. And, and, then, and then there's the magic users. No, 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 no. It's not and magic. Then, and then, no, you're right. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't you. thinking about magic users. Okay. And then there's the magic users. <laughs> Thank you. Torture. <laughs> Torture. Don. Like <laughs> 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 I'm going to actually. <laughs> I'm Pillar L. Garcia. We hate him. 
He loves us. <laughs> Let's get together and make him rot. <laughs> Perfect. Let's get talks, sir. And hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. What do you think of that scansion? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. The next, I knew it. The next Jack in prison is the all Barney parody. <laughs> <laughs> I am for it. I'm against it. <laughs> oh, God, I'm my soul. That is I'm irrelevant. All right, all right, all right. Let, let's 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 let Pilar uh, do a song. Oh, With okay. just one shot of a BB gun, <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, well, he'll be sorry he ever taught. Great, 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 great idea. We <laughs> hey Barney man. Yeah, I'm saying we sure hey Barney man. He should go out of business, man. I'm saying like he should go out of business, man. Is Daniel Songer, is that yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to be on the Daniel Songer hour and I was jealous, so <laughs> I agree, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> hey. what that one was. Yay. <laughs> Well, I think I think we've already talked about. It. I mean, this is clearly obvious, but we have a discussion here saying Barney must be banished, and it's got a twist coming at the end. So, oh, oh <laughs> exciting! But Glad you as for favorite. now, in uh, in June of '96, I am Randy Connor, and I think I have the winning lotto numbers for next week. Therefore, I'm going to do the entire world a great big favor and hire a team of hitmen to eliminate this purple monster. <laughs> <laughs> I hereby to commit to spend my entire lottery winnings to this cause. Nailed it. One <laughs> bullet in his so big purple boring. butt should do the trick. I just hope he did not have beans for dinner. <laughs> 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 and uh, anybody wants to take Jack Walls? Jake Walls? I don't really care because the crusade does not advocate real life violence how much many times must one say this ensign trace corpse emoticon it's all good clean fun until someone loses an eye then it's just fun but kind of okay. mixed messages there but okay okay and then the rest of it is just like uh you know the stuff we've basically been hearing before it's like oh like here's the way i'd kill barney ha <laughs> ha I'm gonna yeah, make a, I'm gonna make a really tasty joke. Skip that one. <laughs> okay, so almost twenty okay. years pass in okay. the space between these posts. So holy um, fuck! Wait, what? <laughs> so twenty years pass. Time passes. No, no. Looks <laughs> like a yes, yes, he wasn't no. posting on alt Barney dot dinosaur dot die die die. Dude, that would be so clean. That is not possible. <laughs> well, if, well. If, you think it's not possible, but you're Isaac in uh, February of 2016, and you Fuck have a question. Me. <laughs> Fuck me! All right, yeah, uh, February 4th of 2016. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I posted this to alt dot Barney dot dinosaur dot die die die. Did you win? <laughs> I mean, when I think of February in 2016, the biggest threat that was on everybody's mind was actually <laughs> Barney the Purple Dinosaur. <laughs> yes. In the future with Barney ruling us. Whoa. What's that? Ooh, somebody's got crickets. Lemon, oh, Lemon, you're making... Oh, no, Barney's got him. Oh, no. <laughs> Barney got him. Wait, what's happening? Like okay. You're suddenly German. making him crickets. Yeah, crickets. I oh, usually so. edit those in after the fact, but oh. <laughs> yeah, it's like a literal. <laughs> <laughs> we swapped out lemons, fake crickets, real ones. Yeah. <laughs> God, and All someone right, well, while while uh, while lemon is sent to the Baharni dimension, um, <laughs> Frank, if you could just read real quick what Spare IPX says in uh, response to Isaac, like. Almost a month later. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's like, so that was February. So Isaac was February fourth. This is February twenty seventh. Yeah. <laughs> the purple menace is still with us. Either he did, and the plot failed, or he didn't win, and the plot never got off the ground. Oh. But the also, it's twenty sixteen, and nobody time. watches Barney. Yeah. <laughs> How many years Just, is Barney off the air at this point? Yeah, Barney went off the air in 2010. <laughs> so, 
Poor Digi is a part of his demon <laughs> plot. <laughs> oh, so the next section we got, uh, let's see. So we've got a joining the crusade and there's just this long, you know, it's, it's again, it's, it's pretty much what we've already said before about, oh, the crusade is this and here's our threefold truth and blah, blah, blah. But uh, there's a special, um, there's a special guest that shows up in this thread. So uh, let's see. Portex, if you could take um, on the joining the crusade, which comes right after that. Mm -hmm. um, so just imagine as Crestia, I said a bunch of the dumb like role playing world mm. shit. But you will be DPGP058. All right. Blah, 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 blah. Give it up, guys. Throw in the towel and say you love Barney before it's too late. Your crusade is futile. Barney is more popular now than when your crusade even started. And then I am an ASCII Barney. Hello. <laughs> Don't be cruel. I love you. <laughs> your purple friend, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> And real quick, let me see if that will post into the chat. Oh, I hope so. No, uh, <laughs> uh, well, okay. That... You'd have to get a screenshot <laughs> of it. <laughs> no, that's run fine. Over. That's, that's fine. What I, what, I, what I pasted in chat is fine. That's that's That gets the idea across. <laughs> um, and so then we got a response from J-Rock. Uh, let's see. Uh, nutshell, if you could take that. Sure. Hey, I'm J Rock, and uh, I'll call Trainer Ball no friend. <laughs> Remember, serving college students, Jerry Bot? That's it. Dig real deep into your RAM. It said that 81% of college students like myself share a hatred of all things purple, plush, and stupid looking. That's wow. right. The satanic purple Saurian from Hades is only admired <laughs> among college students in your dreams. Say, wait a minute. Your Barney picture is give me a killer idea. And, and his killer idea is uh, the ASCII by that Barney dinosaur getting 16 tons dropped on his head while making a tasteless rape joke. Yay. So, woo! <laughs> and when I say killer, brother, I mean killer. J Rock. Yeah. J Rock. <laughs> well, you're not just going to take that. I mean, look at the 16 tons. DPGP, do you have a response? <laughs> say wait a minute who said barney's for college students i think that whoever did the survey surveyed the wrong group uh you silly fools barney's for kids and one day those kids will be college students who will love barney he loves you too <laughs> he loves you to exclamation point he loves it when you do that jerry and yeah uh, Skip that one. let's see yeah <laughs> well Looking a lot of forward. editing happening here. <laughs> Ooh, I can drag you around. That's fun. Uh, I think I'm fixed. I'm going to drag you back because my green circle doesn't seem to be lighting up when I don't talk. Oh, there's no oh, you can't drag me out of the chat. That's, I'm the stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I'm sorry. Hey, um, did the man behind the bar? The stream's still working so far. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, well, we're still here. Uh, are we still? I, still yeah. Going? I, I, Keep going. Uh, yeah. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Lemon, your mic sounds fixed. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Great. Well, let's just. Thanks for uh, the stream. You're we're, we're, running, we're running low on time here, so let's just skip right to the end, which is parody songs. Oh, <laughs> no. oh, I love you, parodies. Great. Yay. Oh, no. <laughs> it's got a very happy... No. Um... All right, let's, let's get it going before we get kicked out. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> There's so much noise happening. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, anybody just tag in. Who wants to take... All right, I'll start it off. Tic-tac-toe, three in a row. Barney got shot by a G.I. Joe. Mom called the doctor. The doctor said, whoop, Barney's dead. Whoop, Barney's dead. Oh, yeah, this was the, all right, this was all the right, jam actually, back then. All right, school. I actually kind of like that one. I do. Not bad. Not okay, bad. Who, wants to take, who, who doesn't want to take this uh, prescient parody of, of joy to the world? I can do that Kels, one. Kels, did you yeah. want to do the 150 ways to kill the purple dinosaur? We got I, like I a would, minute and a half. We're running, we're running low on time. I like the idea. Yeah. We're running low on time. Yeah, I would definitely skip that. 
Joy oh. to the world, Barney's dead. <laughs> oh. We barbecued his head. Oh, but yeah. what about the body? Yeah. We yeah. flushed it down the party. Oh. And round and round <laughs> it goes. No, actually... And round and round oh, it goes. Yeah. And like, round, yeah. round and round and round it goes. It's actually taken directly from the <laughs> That's, that's, Nelson Mott sings that song. <laughs> I wonder it has like decent rhyming to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's finish strong. And uh, as long as we can go, let's go to the uh, I Love You parody. So, uh, hey, make sure to read ahead before you read them because some of these are nice. Yes, and yes. Good. Yeah, definitely. Give me, oh, give me a skin. God damn it. Fuck you. Yeah. 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 All right, Portex, start us off with the first one. Uh, the first one? Yes. No, I'm gonna go to this one. Great. Oh, okay. <laughs> go for it. I hate you. You hate me. Let's chase Barney up a tree. Grab a bazooka. Shoot him in the head. Hallelujah. Barney's dead. Yeah. Good one. Good one. Good one. That's really good. Uh, I'll go. Uh, I hate you. You hate me. Barney's taking everything. Grab a bazooka. Shoot him in the head. There you see him lying on the floor. Sorry, kids. No more purple dinosaur. I hate you. You hate me. Let's be friends and kill Barney with a shotgun. Bang, bang, Barney on the floor. No more purple dinosaur. Yeah! <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, see this fucker? And, you see him? <laughs> And uh, oh my god, I wanted everybody to do one, but so many of these are landmines. So I'm just going to end it here. I'm going to end it here. I'm going to end it here with the final song. <clears throat> I hate you. You hate me. Let's together and kill Barney with a great big bomb and a bullet to his brain. We're all happy. Barney's dead. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm not even going to ask what we learned because we learned that we all hate Barney. And uh, oh, I will note though that that those songs were a, the songs were like the greatest hits of elementary school to me. So that was nice, oddly nostalgic. Well, we we all hate Barney, but we also hate each other by these parody songs because I hate you, you hate me. You love me. <laughs> Uh, you should be you should be sticking around, uh, uh, F plus fans and listeners, uh, because the next hour is the auto fellatio hour. Okay, I'm some, not in that, but maybe some, I am in that. <laughs> some boost rain gear, some Frank West, Jack Chick, Kumquat Sop, Nutshell, Portax, and Montreth. Uh, I want to give big up to Mox there. Uh, big up to Mox uh, for, for the drawings. Uh, terrific, terrific drawings. Yeah, they're really um, good. Really, really, really fun. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Thank you Barney, much. Dracula, the stuff that's just so fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, coming up for the next two hours, uh, we've got Sauce. Uh, we've got Yay. some uh, some excellent drawings by Sauce. And and I want to just tease this out because you know you can handle this because I won't be here, but. Uh, there's going to be a really, 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 really cool donation incentive uh, hmm. related to sauce. Uh, so stick around. We'll be back soon. <laughs>